Hi everybody, this is Steve and I want to show you a little bit on a Gretsch Gladstone snare drum that I have here. This is a, uh, I'm going to do two videos on this. This one is primarily going to deal with the interior of the drum and there'll be another one dealing with the exterior. This is a Gretsch Gladstone three-way tuning drum six and a half by fourteen. It's a very very nice drum. Nice drum, it's going to sound great but I want to show you some things on the interior here. Number one, this is not a traditional Gretsch shell with no reinforcement rings. This particular one does have reinforcement rings as you can see here. So it looks like what we've got here is a three ply shell and then you've got reinforcement rings on it. That's not unusual. I've seen many many Gretsch Gladstones with reinforcement rings. So that is not an unusual trait and that is in fact an original Gretsch shell. This drum has a particularly odd internal muffler system. The internal muffler system was worked from what you see right there, a lever on and off, and generally there was a pad that was here. Let's see if we can get that. The pad was right here inside, coming off that, no that little notch on the front that would raise a pad up and down against the head. This particular one has a very strange, odd cable system here. There is this piece of metal that you see here attached all the way across. There's a strange looking cable right there that runs over here and I have to tip the drum up a little bit here to get the angle on this. This is attached I'm going to move back over here to the shell right there then there's a, a pad that creates the muffler and with this lever that you would turn here theoretically this is going to move and the cable does move it but it moves it in a rather awkward way and not very well so I think somewhere along the line here this is a little bit of a jury, jury rigged tone control because it's not like anything else I've seen on any other Gretsch Gladstones uh, the three-way tuning key here is correct. The bracket on the inside here has a screw, a wood screw down at the bottom attaching it. That wood screw has a very slight, barely penetrating there. It doesn't come through the wrap, but it's just poking out of the shell. So, this is a little bit of an odd one in terms of the tone control. The shell is absolutely correct. There are three holes here that were drilled for a tone control and it looks to me like it was a Slingerland tone control. Uh, that is of course not present. So this is a very very nice example. I suspect it will be a very good sounding drum but we will get this cleaned up, assembled and ready to go shortly and then we'll do another video on it. So meanwhile I just wanted to give you a little bit of a sneak peek and also give you some uh, extra extra info on the interior of the drum. And again, the shell is very nice, nothing wrong with the shell. It's in great shape and it is in fact a correct Gretsch shell. That's it for the moment. Thanks.